it's it's got to be nice to be John Cena at this point. Is there I, a specific thing that you haven't done that you want to do that you're like, I mean, you've done like I said, yeah, I know you're humble, but I I'll I'll be not humble for you. You you have done it all and you've done it all well. Is there something that you want to do that you you have your eye on? You're like, you know what? It'd be really cool to do this because I'm John Cena. Uh, you know, I'll shave the last half off of that question. I don't know any other way to live. I mean, I, I'm I'm myself, so I live every day as 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 me. Uh, a superhero. I, I I try to work on empathy, so I try to see things through other people's eyes, and I appreciate the kind words. Uh, I guess the answer is just something I love, and I don't know what that is right now. It, it's definitely storytelling. And I don't seek out like this role would be great. I read, I read, I read a lot of scripts. Um, and if I read it and I'm riveted by it, I know that I can contribute to it. And it, do, it doesn't need to be, I don't need to be the lead. Uh, it could be a very small role. I just finished a very um, small role in a movie called The Independent where the the, the script was riveting and the, it was intriguing to me. So, and that's a role that it's, it's not this and it's not, uh, uh, adult comedy like it's a it's a dramatic role and I was I was, re- I was just riveted by the stories and I didn't search that out it just hey read the script and tell me what you think so that's kind of how all of this stuff happens I, lo- I love to, I love to read and when if I'm riveted by the story I know I'm passionate about it if I'm passionate about it I know I'm gonna get my altar what quick side question when you read a script do you count that as reading a book like at the end of the year when no. you're like I read 10 books nope you should just a little tip there uh oh okay I'll I mean I, the only person keeping score on that one's really me. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but I will. Okay. What about <laughs> if you listen to a book? Uh, I haven't yet explored listening to a book. What, what's your What's your guys' take on that? What's Audiobooks. The on? There's a really good one out there called Goodell vs. Obama, but uh, I'm not really a, a big audiobook guy. But I do count it, though. At the end of the year, like Big Cat's saying, I think if you read like a, a pamphlet that's yep. four pages long, that counts as a book. If you read the back of four different types of cereal boxes if you have to sign a, a lease if you have to sign oh a lease yeah that's and you just like books. peruse it yeah if you yep. like peruse the legalese i would imagine you're uh, like your um cell phone provider or like a phone privacy agreement that oh yeah yeah when yeah. you yeah. download a game and they say like hey oh, we're it, taking it, all of your information of and using it against yep. you that's a book or if you if you were to watch uh any you know recurring series on netflix or on hulu or anything like that hbo max or like or like HBO Max. Yeah, like if you, were, yeah, you watch if you, Peacemaker on HBO Max. If you watch Peacemaker on <laughs> HBO Max and you put the subtitles on, that counts as a book. Each episode counts. counts as a book. Once again, to this fictitious scorecard that nobody cares about but us, I'm going to uh, count all of you. People care. Yeah, no, you people got care. that. What's, yeah. the, what's the point of reading if you're not going to flex on somebody at the end of the year and be like, I read more books than you this year? I don't know. Maybe maybe learning something. Who knows? I don't know. Ah, come on. <laughs> so, I mean, it sounds, what else? it sounds like from the from the tone of this conversation, how you're working on yourself and, and looking forward to trying new challenges, we can safely say that the professor of thugonomics is not coming back. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. Uh, you know, I kind of over the over the years, you've actually seen more of, of uh, the good doctor of thugonomics than than over like the past 10 years. Uh, the uh, appearance in the Firefly Funhouse match, the appearance at WrestleMania with Elias. It's almost like that that character has taken on a sense of nostalgia itself. So when it shows up, it's, it's, a, it's like a, it's a thing that gets people excited. So I, I never, never say never, dude, I'm doing an interview in full peacemaker. Yeah. So. True. What is- I, I love that album. I used to play it in college. It was the fastest way to get chicks to want to leave a party. Is you just Thank pop you on the much. John Cena album at like yes. two in the morning. And they're like, why are these guys doing, putting their hands in front of their face and screaming lyrics at us. By the way, little did they know that that would be the basis of a lot of meme culture years to come. True. They didn't know what a meme was. It's in their defense, they didn't know what a meme was. That's true. Yeah, I mean, I like. I think my favorite phrase that you ever had was "tough to bring down like an overweight running back." That's just that's yeah. like a nod to Mike Allstott. I thought that you were talking or about or Ironhead Hayward or Christian Okoye. You know, yeah. any of those. Guys. Mike Tolbert, yeah. the fullbacks. Yeah, yeah, Mike Tolbert, legendary goal line Athman. running yeah. back. I actually made a remix of one of your songs back in 2014, Make It Loud. I yes. just I just took Make It Loud and I, I spliced in you announcing that we've killed Osama Bin Laden throughout the song just to make it a little bit more patriotic. Um, I dialed it up a little bit for you. All right, that is that is a take. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, if, if you look back on your career as, as saying, like, we have just compromised to the fullest extent, Osama Bin Laden, is that maybe like a highlight? Because you have to think of that on the spot. And I've never heard somebody use a phrase like compromise to the fullest extent. But when you said it, I was like, that's fucking cool. Uh, I, I think you I think you may have a paraphrase instead of a quote. 
Oh, I think okay. Maybe to a permanent end. To a permanent That's end. Badass. Yes. That's even cooler. Yes. So um, that was a big piece of news, and it just happened. And I was being fed the news live, and we were at a pay per view in the DC area. And that, I mean, that's a we're 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 talking. This is a, a a piece of news that that shook the United States to its very core uh, with the events of nine eleven. Uh, and I thought it would. I thought it was something that people should know, and that they sh- like. I, okay, I know this information now. I'm in front of this audience. They sh- they should know this. Uh, and I just tried to think of a way to convey the message. Uh, to make it as digestible as possible. And that's the, that's what popped into my head. I wanted people not to find out when they got home. I thought about that event and that moment in time was so impactful that I wanted the people to know right there. And that's, uh, that's just the, the, I tried the best I could to convey that message. I'm I'm glad you uh, remember it in paraphrase form. I appreciate it. It means it affected uh, your life in some way, but I, I just tried the best I could to do it. It's an all-time moment. It's an all-time moment. It's got to be an all-time thrill that, like, we we joke about breaking news to people. There's something about that that's a rush. Breaking that type of news to a, you know, a stadium of people has got to be a career highlight. You know, obviously there's things you actually did, but, like, that's got to be one of the things that you remember most vividly, I would imagine. Well, uh, certainly to be in a, a position where people – pay attention to your message. Right. I mean, that's, uh, that, that there's, but the, there's, there's no doubt that, that, um, like I said, that's a, that's a, that's a moment that had a ton of gravity, which is why, and I, I didn't do it for, uh, the broadcast. I thought we were off air. So I just literally did it for the people in arena, because if you're, if we're on the broadcast, you can click and find the news elsewhere. So I just really did it for the live people in the arena that may not have instant access to that piece of information. Wow. Crazy. Um, um you, so I don't know if you remember to do, go a little lighter route. Uh, I don't even know if you remember when you came in and we interviewed you the first time. Do you? You've done so many interviews. It's okay. We're no, it was in, uh, no, it was in your 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 like you said your old offices, all white offices. We were pretty much in like a closet phone booth corner with yep. you guys, right? Yep. And there was was there three of you then? Yeah, mm-hmm. three of us in the room, probably maybe three four. of us in the room. But yeah, the the part that I'm hoping you remember, um, and I'm hoping you think about all the time is my belly button because you saw my belly button how deep it was and you wanted to risk it all i don't know, Do you, know how, you know how we have experiences in our life that we're not brave enough to revisit so we just black out mm-hmm. and like it, it takes a uh, concentrated dedicated therapy uh you just uncovered that experience for me whether i'm ready for it or not uh, i don't know but i feel like i'm i may have to go to the bathroom and cry at the same time and somehow i'll be moved in an emotional way, uh, yeah, you got you got a deep belly button. Bro. I got a very deep belly button, and you gave it, you gave it a sup with your eyes. I uh, I, I assessed your anatomy. I did. <laughs> um, um, all right, oh, Ra- you revealing yourself to me. I did. I did look at you. Yes, yes, you <laughs> you look deep inside my butt. It's, it's more sensual than looking deep into someone's eyes. It, looking into the crevices of their belly button, the cavernous Perfect. belly button. Yes, their former feeding tube. Yes. Well, yeah, if you want to put it that way. 